Within a matter of days, two coaches at two different districts in central Indiana have now been charged with drug-related crimes. The most recent was Beach Grove's boys basketball coach, who police said was driving drunk and dealing cocaine. Yeah, Fox 59's Max Lewis tells us now school safety experts say more needs to be done to screen potential employees. Max? Mike Renfro led Beach Grove's basketball team to a state championship earlier this year, but now he's suspended while he faces this criminal investigation. Just before midnight on Sunday, a Henry County Sheriff's deputy stopped Renfro along I-70. The deputy says he spotted Renfro's vehicle drifting out of the lane and going just 45 miles an hour. According to court documents, he told the deputy he was trying to get to Beach Grove and thought he was driving south, but the officer informed him I-70 runs east and west. Investigators say Renfro broke down crying and admitted to having a couple drinks. Court records reveal he failed a field sobriety test and a search of his car turned up several bags of cocaine wrapped in dollar bills, which police say he was planning to deal. I can't believe that. That's super crazy that you trust your teachers and think they're supposed to be a role model. Renfro was charged with dealing cocaine and operating while intoxicated, among other charges. In Beach Grove, some have sympathy, others not so much. You know, and he got caught and... You know, he's going to have to pay the price, and that's public embarrassment's enough. He shouldn't be in that capacity of teaching with those kind of charges against him. Renfro is just the latest case of coaches getting into some trouble. Last week, 22-year-old Marquise Feldman, an assistant football coach in Plainfield, was accused of selling drugs to students. It's really important for school districts to consider how we are hiring all personnel, not just teachers. Both Beach Grove and Plainfield say each coach passed background checks, but Chase Lyday with the Indiana School Resource Officers Association said the district need to do more. If we don't have processes and systems in place to dig deeper into our professionals, we're stuck with only what comes on the very flat surface investigation and many times there's something under the surface that we need to dig into as well. Renfro is scheduled to be in court at the end of this month. His future here at Beach Grove is uncertain, but the district says it plans to fully cooperate with police. In Beach Grove, I'm Max Lewis, Fox 59 News.